Okay, we're going to begin our work on lab three, migrating and configuring user data. During this next series of videos, we're going to be configuring and managing user profiles, configuring folder locations, installing the user state migration tool, um, and migrating user profiles. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the domain controller. Here's our domain controller, which I have logged in as Contoso Administrator. And I'm going to pull over CL1, which I don't have logged in. So we're going to log in this. We were using Tay, so we're going to go back into Contoso Administrator and type in password. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and right click and computer management. And we're going to click on local users and groups. <coughs> and then click on users. And we're going to right click and we want to create a new user. This is going to be Tony Wayne. And we're going to put in our standard password. And we're going to deselect the user must change the password on the next login. And we're going to click on create. And then we'll go ahead and close it. There we go. I'm just going to switch users. If you right click this, this is where you get this. So I'm going to switch user. Other user, and we want to do LON-CL1 backslash T Wayne. Okay. We're gonna open up File Explorer. Click on this PC and double click local disk. Um, double click the users. Double click T Wayne. And you're going to do, if you're required to do a screenshot, you would do a screenshot right here. Okay, so, oops, left click, go up here, right click, 
I want to go back into administrator. And again, we're going to go back to our file explorer. Home to local di this PC, local disk. Okay. Double click. Right click, new folder, and we're going to call this profiles. Enter. And we're going to go into the start button. Right click, computer management, local users and groups. Click on the Users node, and double-click the T-Wayne account. We'll click on the Profile tab, and in the User Profiles section we want to type that path. do apply. And you see when we did that it automatically puts in T Wayne. So we'll go ahead and click on OK. And we're going to log back in as T Wayne. Go to File Explorer. And then this PC, C drive. Click on the Profiles folder. You see it is currently empty. Um, if you're required to do so, this would be where you take your next screenshot. Although, according to the lab manual, we should have seen the T Wayne. I'm going to try logging, actually logging out, logging back in. Sign out. Sign out.
Now let's try going back. Other user. File Explorer, C, Profiles, and there we see T. Wayne. All right, so this would be where you take your screenshot. So we're now going to go ahead and log off. It's a problem when you don't log off. I was just switching users. I had to log off in order for it to take effect. Right click, oops, left click. Go up here, right click, sign out. <clears throat> okay, we're going to log back in. Tony Wayne. Go to our file explorer. Local disk. Profiles. You see, we now have all of his things that he has set up by default. If you're required to do it, take a screenshot, you'll take a screenshot at this screen. And that brings us to the end of this exercise. The next exercise will be exercise 3.2, configuring folder locations.